I think we are ready. <laughs> uh, yes, hello everybody. My name is Piotr Cikieski and this is podcast of Volley Time. Our today's guest is very special because uh, he's an uh, Olympic champion, uh, Mr. Ben Tenuti. Hey, how are you, Ben? Super, thank you. Hi. <laughs> thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on the mic, as I said uh, before we have started the recording. Uh, year 2021 was very special for you because uh, you have won uh, Olympic uh, championship. Uh, but uh, you have won uh, Champions League with uh, your former uh, team, Zaksa Kenjezhen. Uh, so how was this year so far for you? It, was that the best year for you in your whole career? Sure, sure. I think it's difficult to, to do something better. I think it's not really often that uh, some players uh, win in the same year uh, Champions League and uh, the Olympic Games. So. For sure, it was a special year for me. Uh, also, the season. I mean, because uh, okay, we lose the um, the championship, uh, but uh, like it was fourth trophy in the season with the Super Cup, with the Cup, with the Champions League, and uh, this Olympic Games. Now I start already with the Super Cup. So yes. So yeah, it's a it's a good uh, good year, 2020, 21. Uh, it's, uh, it's difficult about pandemic, but about titles, I can say that it was a good year for me. Yeah, okay. The, the big disadvantage was uh, for sure um, to n not to have uh, a crowd in, on the, in, in the Olympic Games, but uh, there are crowd. Uh, there is a crowd in uh, Yashchemsky Vengel now, so the um, current season is uh, rolling. Um, um, and you you have the first uh, trophy, as you said, in your uh, trophy cabinet. I'm pretty sure that uh, um, you're already adapted in your new team, aren't you? I, I think I think we we can uh, we can improve we can play better but uh, but it's already good that we we won this uh, first trophy because uh, it was important trophy for uh, for for Yashembe. Uh also for sure for me it was important trophy because uh, uh, I come here to to try to continue to win and uh, and we are playing against uh, my old team uh, Zaxa so for sure it's uh, it's nice to start the season uh, like this and and win this first trophy but. We can see that the, the league is really strong and we have to, to keep focus and continue to maintain uh, our level to, yeah, to, to be ready for, uh, for now the most uh, more important uh, part because it will be the cup uh, yes. after and, uh, and the end of the season with the playoffs. So we just have to continue to play good and be ready for this, uh, this moment. Yes, I'm pretty sure that uh, the goals are pretty um, um, simple to guess uh, for Jaschemski Wengel is uh, literally to win every possible game. Yes, 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 sure, because uh, because it's uh, it's a team with uh, with talent, with uh, a lot of good players. We we have a good team, but uh, we are not the only good team in the championship. There is also so many teams who can. Uh, Win uh, games and and trophy. I mean, uh, for sure, Zaxa. I, I think about uh, Skrag and also about Jesu. Uh, 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 Austin make a really good team. Yes. Savierce. So yeah, uh, Warsaw. There is so many teams who are able to to reach some uh, higher uh, goals. So we are one of, of of this team. So we just have to work every day to. To reach this uh, this goal, it's already good to, to win this first trophy. But for sure, we want uh, we want more. Yes. How far from 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 your um, optimal form uh, uh, are you in uh, in the in the current moment? I think we have really really good moment. Uh, we play uh, really good against Jeshul, against Gdansk, and uh, yes. for sure against Zaksa, we don't play uh, we don't play really good. In Suvalki, we play okay, but not, I think, on the topest level we can play. So we we miss some stability for the moment, but we we see that we have the possibility to play on a really high level, like in the Super Cup, like in some games of the of the league. But yes. for sure, we have to to maintain this uh, this level, and uh, also it's a new team, so it's normal that we have some up and down. But we have uh, we have to keep the focus to to try to give our best in every practice, every game, and uh, our stability will uh, will will come. And uh, I think it's already a good start of the season. But like I say, we can play better, and especially on the time. I think mm -hmm. more a uh, longer time. You have already played two games uh, against your former team Zaxa. Were there special feelings by these games? 
Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I will not lie because it was two different game. Uh, the first game was uh, the first possibility to win the trophy. Yes. So it was a directly important game. So it was uh, it was a strange feeling, but I just focus about what I have to do on the court and uh, how I have to to make my game the best possible to to win this game. So I was really focused about the. Uh, what I have to do on the on the court, and uh, and I think we play a, a good game against them in the Super Cup. And the second one, it was different because it was the first time I come back to Kajerjin to play uh, yes. to play in this gym, which I play so long time. So it was uh, emotion, uh, a lot of emotion because uh, they prepare something good before uh, before the game. So uh, so yeah, I think we we don't play, and I don't play the best uh, the best game uh, of my uh, my career. We can say. But uh, you know, it was for sure emotion to 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 play again in in Zaxa. But uh, for sure, I'm really focused and really yeah. I want to to write now the story with uh, with Yashembe because they give me a lot of confidence to come here, and uh, I want to to write the story. We write already one part with the Super Cup, and I want to continue now. Yes, after six years, you you, you have you have said it already. You have uh, decided to to leave uh, Kenjejun. Um, is it because you have won everything in one club and you would like to build um, um, a, another legacy in a different club, or is it uh, the same ch level of challenge for you, like it was in Zaxa? It's a it's a new challenge. I don't know if it's a. Uh... More difficult, was, for sure. It's different. It's different because uh, because it, it's a new club uh, with the ambition to to win. Also, so for me, it's also uh, one goal is to to win with different team. I can, yeah, I want to have this feeling that I'm important in the team and uh, and uh, say that with. Uh, Bentonuti, with Bentonuti, we can win more. So this is my my goal also, and uh, it's also for this I'm happy about this first Super Cup because uh, because it was the first uh, possibility to win trophy, and we take it. So now uh, I just want to to continue to 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 improve, to play better, to to play better as a team, and try to be ready for the for the for the moment to to win some other trophy. And continue mm -hmm. to win also in the league because it's important. Yes, I would like to move back uh, to uh, your um, time when you were in Zaxa. What was the phenomenon of uh, that team? Because uh, uh, for sure you you weren't the favorite uh, in the Champions League, but you have beaten um, clubs from Russia, from Italy, and actually, literally, you were the best. So, what was the phenomenon of that team? I think it's not like only of uh, last year, but it's uh, all the processes of uh, of this team for a long time. I think it's uh, it's a process to. It's not like uh, you will come like this in one year and you will win Champions League. It's a process. Yeah. We we just go uh, f forward every season to try to go out first from the group, then uh, then pass the the quarterfinal. For sure, you need some some luck sometimes because. Uh, yes. Uh, three or four years ago, we go to the final four of Champions League, but I can say that we have a little bit of luck during the draw because uh, we have a like not easy draw, but better draw to to go to this final four. So sometimes yes. you need this uh, this luck. But uh, for example, last year we have the worst draw yes. we can we can we can have. So we finish first of the group and we we cross with uh, with Lube, one of the favorites who yes. win the last uh, the previous Champions League. Then we have to beat Kazan, who was one of the favorite also. So, so it's a process, and for sure we can say that as a team we were playing really good last year, and uh, and we we won this uh, this Champions League uh, as a as a team. Mm -hmm. Is there something you miss from uh, Ken Jezun Kojla? I mean, against James Kivengil, I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's difficult because it's it's not so long time I'm here, but uh, yes. but. Uh, Yashembe is a top club, top club like uh, like uh, like Zaxa, like uh, Zeshuf, like Skra, like all the clubs who wants to win. So organization is uh, it's super high. They are doing everything for the player to feel comfortable, to mm -hmm. to have a good team, to have everything to 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 win. So I feel really good in Yashembe. I feel really good because uh, 
because uh, they are doing everything for the players and we are in the best condition to 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 reach uh, mm-hmm. all the goals we have because uh, like i say we have a lot of goal but we are not the only team who have this goal so it would be a fight until the end yes yes would you like to have uh, some of your former players in the Aschemski Vengel <laughs> i know it's a hard question <laughs> I play already with a lot of players who were in Zaxa. So uh, from the first season I was in Zaxa, it was uh, Yuri Gladi. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Luka Zvishnevsky, uh, Rafa Shimura. Uh, I play with some guys of national team, with yes. uh, with, uh, with Cleveno, with uh, Boye. So for sure, I play with a lot of players already. So it's it's more easy. I mean, to 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 have the connection with the players. Uh, so it's always nice to spend a good season with guys and you you see them back uh, some yeah. years after and you you try to to win again with this guy yeah for sure um, you have signed a two years contract with the option of uh, extension um, i've already spoken with a few people from uh, yeah with the, with the pioneers uh, um, they live in poland like elena blagojevic or michal masny and um, they already know that they would like to stay in poland after uh, their careers so um, would you like to stay in poland after uh, you um, stop playing uh, volleyball anymore <laughs> Um, I, yeah, of, I of, sorry for this uh, for 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 interrupting you. Uh, yeah, I know that you got still many years uh, in, in front of you, so so no worries. I I don't want to uh, end your career right now. But I mean, uh, yeah, there are many people. There are many foreign players. They decide to stay in Poland after their career. So um, I, I'm I just I'm just curious. Uh, would you like to mm-hmm. stay in Poland after your career? I mean, I mean, we we feel uh, we feel very really good in Poland with my family. Like uh, my daughter is going to the normal Polish school. The youngest one is going to kindergarten, like Polish kindergarten. So we feel good in Poland. Uh, but I have my house in in France, in the south of France. So um, uh, we'll see after the career also what what will Sorry. be my my future. I want to stay in the world of volleyball. So we will see how will be opportunity and uh, what I can do. But uh, for sure, it's a country. It's uh, it's part of my life because I spend so so much time there. Yes. But I have my uh, I have my home house in uh, in the south of France, and also mm-hmm. it's a it's a nice place to to live. So <laughs> we'll see we will see we will see in the right moment. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. Fair enough. <laughs> so um, I, one more question about uh, your uh, career. Um, is there any place you want would like to? Uh, play uh, I mean like uh, Japan or Italy one more time uh, or you don't think about it right now so you're you're focused you're, you're focusing yourself on current situation and your current club I'm really I'm really focused about uh, my situation Sorry. my situation of the moment because uh, I think it's like this you give 100% for uh, for the team for the clubs who who give uh, the confidence so I'm really 100% about uh, about the moment and uh, and like I say uh, before, I have always the motivation to 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 finish the career with a maximum trophy I can. So for 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 me, it's always a goal to 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 go somewhere where I feel that there is the possibility to win. And it's for this that I sign uh, and I come to to Yashembe because uh, I see the the goal of this club is to to grow to. To, to build a strong team, to, to be competitive. Like I say, we are not the only one, but uh, it's, uh, it's always nice to have this feeling when you, you can reach and you have the, the goal to, to win something. So this is also give my motivation to, um, yeah, to, to, play, uh, to play in such a good club like, like Yashambia. Okay, so uh, let's go back uh, to the Olympics because it was a brilliant uh, tournament for you. Um, maybe not f- for me because I'm a Pole and uh, I'm the fan of the Polish national team and <laughs> you have uh, beaten uh, our team in the quarterfinal, but uh, yeah, never mind, I forgive you. <laughs> I just want to ask you because Maxim Mikhailov uh, smashed the ball in, uh, outside the, the court and uh, what was the first um, thought uh, after he has smashed the ball out outside the court? I was hoping that nobody touched the net 
from our side <laughs> <laughs> because it was a challenge to net yes. touch. So I, I just hope that nobody touched the net with the jersey or something. Because this, this is my, my first uh, my first question by my uh, to myself. And then when the referee said that it was no net touch, it was just like I don't know. It's difficult to describe. It's like something you you dream about this to to. To, to have this last ball to win Olympics, so it's like a dream. Uh, Euphoria. So, yeah, it's like you have some some few. For sure, it's long. It's even long, but few one moment you don't realize that you are Olympic champion. Yeah. So something that you remember all your life for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the video um, from from that game, I saw that uh, you just uh, ran to the Antoine Brizard, and uh, did, did you? Tell him something special. Um, you know, we have big, uh, nice, uh, how you say, uh, cooperation. Mm -hmm. Nice cooperation. We we know that uh, we have uh, we are two <coughs> great uh, great setter who can change the game uh, one to the other, and uh, we know before the Olympics that uh, we will need both to to make a result. So. Yeah. I think it was important because uh, uh, the first part of the Olympic we were not playing great. Then, uh, then we start to play really good against Russia. Uh, we win the, a tough game against Russia to qualify us to the quarterfinal. And I was playing this game. Then against Brazil also we play a tough game. And uh, after Antoine started to play a little bit more because physically he was in really good shape and he changed the game against uh, against Poland. Yes. So. I think it was uh, it was normal for him to to play uh, the end of the of the Olympic, and uh, I'll just tell him that uh, he was uh, amazing, and uh, it's uh, how uh, how we we won this gold medal. It's uh, it's because of the work of uh, of everybody, and also together because uh, because for sure, uh, uh, really often when you win a lot a big trophy. You need a, a really often two two good setter. I mean, in the World Championship 2014, I remember that uh, that uh, Gisga and uh, and Zagumni also were switching really often. And uh, yeah. in the end, uh, <clears throat> what is important is that uh, is that the team is uh, is winning, and this is what uh, what everybody remember. So this is the most important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it uh, for you a bit bitter that um, Antoine Brizard has started the final game um, and he was the first choice of uh, coach Laurent Tilly? Uh, was it was it hard for you, or you just uh, think about it in that way that this is a team sport and we are all we are all together focusing uh, on the goal, so everybody is needed. Uh... Like I, like I said before, you know, you have the chance once, maybe two times in your life to win gold medal in Olympics. So everything you have inside, you just have to take out this and think about the team and what you have to do. What, what is the best for the team in this yeah. moment? Mm -hmm. And uh, and Antoine was in really good shape in this moment. And uh, it was uh, it was normal, I think, to to for him to start. We, we play... Uh, we just beat uh, Poland with him. We we beat Argentina, so it was normal to to start the the final. Uh, and I was ready to to come inside. Yeah. But in the end, the most important is that we win Olympic together. So this yeah. is this is the more important. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that was a tricky question. I just I just wondered uh, how 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 would you answer on that? <laughs> okay. Uh, mm, uh, I would like to ask you about the French League because uh, actually the French League is not uh, on the same. It's a, a bit behind the, the top leagues like a Polish, Italian, or Russian. But still, you got a amazing uh, French national team, and I would like to ask you from where comes this strength of national uh, French team? I think the league the league is start to is growing. Is growing, but uh, the problem is that the uh, uh, organization of the club are still under the organization of the team in uh, of the club. I've been in in Poland and in uh, in Italy and some club in Russia. I don't think all the club in Russia, but the medium level of the league is really high, so it's nice to to play also in France. 
Um, but for sure, uh, we miss some uh, some point of organization, and um, and this is a big uh, big difference. Uh, I think about the players. Uh, now a lot of like maybe seventy five percent of the eighty percent of the player of national team are playing abroad, and yes. also um, we are. Uh, we are playing for most of this guy in the top club with uh, big pressure. Uh, goal always to win trophy. So this also come inside your mind. And then when you're coming back to national team, you're more ready to, to fight also and to, to reach this goal also with national team to win. If you, are play, if you are playing in the medium club and you don't have the goal to, yeah, to even to don't go to to playoff or something like this, yeah. then it's difficult to to change your your mind uh, and uh, and have this mentality to to win. So I think it's the biggest difference now is that most of the players are, are playing in top club in Europe and uh, and uh, and they have some pressure also to to win something during the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, the the trend of uh, national team is very very high because uh, when when we talk about the, the French national team, we we can say that uh, for example, Thibaut Rossard uh, didn't even play uh, last year in the national team, and he's uh, such a good player. Like, yeah. So it was a uh, pity for him, but uh, of course, after all, you have won the Olympic Games. So, um, but what what has happened in uh, in European Championship actually? Because uh, you have you have lost your game against uh, Czech Republic, and uh, mm, uh, do you think that after Olympic Games you weren't ready mentally ready for the, another success in the such a uh, mm, short, period. short period? Yeah, mm. sure. Mentally, it was tough. It was tough because uh, because uh, atmosphere in France. I mean, about the country was crazy. We play a friendly game before uh, before the European Championship, and it was it was crazy. Like uh, we can, I think if we we can play in the gym of ten thousand people, and it, it will be full. So so it's nice, but also mentally it was tough for us to to come back after uh, a, such a good uh, a yeah. good trophy, but. Uh, but we want to to come back and try to do it because we have also new staff and uh, and we want to know yeah. each other with uh, with the new staff and uh, and Bernardo Resende. Uh, still, we have a lot of work uh, to for him to to know us about uh, about the players, about the team, how make it uh, make it the team better. But uh, like I can say, it's for sure it's a good person to. To be with us uh, for the project of uh, Paris 2024, uh, because for him it's uh, normal to play a uh, Olympic yeah. game at home because uh, he he do it already with uh, with Brazil. Yeah. So for sure it was a, it was a tough moment for us to lose against uh, Czech Republic, but also show you that uh, that the international level is is really high the level, yeah. and uh, if you want to. To continue to win, you have to play a uh, good volleyball, and if you don't play good, you you lose. So, so Czech Republic play play better than us. So, let's come back to work and uh, and be ready for a uh, one important uh, like uh, competition for us. It will be the World Championship 2020. Uh, 2022. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you have already chance to speak with Bernardo Rezende, the legendary Bernardo Rezende? This is the living legend of uh, volleyball's world. Uh, so, do you do you have did you, do you have already uh, the chance to speak with him about the future in the national team? I we spoke to each other like uh, after the European Championship, uh, and probably probably we will play we will speak uh, again uh, more about the. The next summer uh, is is the coach of women's team in uh, in Brazil, so he have I think a really full schedule. But uh, yeah. but for sure, it will take some time to to speak with me and other players about the the next summer. Mm -hmm. um, ben, I would like to ask you, uh, how can you improve um, your skills as a setter? Because uh, um, we know exactly that the setter is a creator of the game, and it's I, I'm I'm sure, and uh, I, probably you will agree with me that the setter is uh, the most difficult position on the court. But so, how can you improve your skills as a setter? 
I think it's uh, it's also it's taking with the time because uh, the setter uh, is more game he's playing, he's taking more experience, he's uh, he's more ready to to have the feeling uh, of of the game of one important moment to 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 try to give the best set of the good guy and the good woman and, uh, and yeah in the right uh, right moment also so everything is also with uh, with experience but uh, but then about uh, the about uh, skills of uh, of setting for sure uh, to practice to have a lot of repetition is really impo- important and uh, and also for me I'm the guy who is uh, making a lot of video uh, I like tactic I like uh, I check after every game how I play, uh, what they can I improve, uh, how they will uh, adapt about my uh, my game. So yeah, this is my personal vision of the of the volleyball and uh, and uh, and setter. Mm-hmm. Can you learn uh, creativity or uh, improvisation, or do you you need you need to burn with it? <laughs> how how is that? I think it depends on the setter because some setter are more creative, some setter less. So this is about personal uh, feeling. I mean, okay. with uh, with this, so we are not always the same setter. Some setter sure. are more physical, so some some setter more technical. So this is depends of the of the setter. For me, how uh, my vision of the of of the setter is like uh, I don't I. I don't like that somebody say, "Oh, you are uh, you are one of the best setter in the world," or something like this. Because for me, what is important is that my team, where I'm playing, are playing good volleyball, and this is my job is to 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 put them in the best condition to to win. So this is uh, how how I uh, I want uh, yeah how I. Um, I want. I see the, the the volleyball for me. Okay, easy to say, but it's uh, pretty hard to do it. I think <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, it's hard, but uh, but it's taking time. It's taking time. Uh, so it's for this, like I said before, that we have some up and down. For example, with Yashambia for the moment, yeah. we are already in good position in the league. We win already the first trophy, but like yeah. I say, we can play better. So this is the the work of uh, of every day, of every practice, of every game, also to improve. So I think it's it's important to see how is uh, how you're going forward. You, you you said that you don't like um, that the people say that you're one of the greatest or the greatest uh, um, etc. in the world. So. Um, I'd like to ask you um, about it. So, who, who, in your opinion, who is the best setter in the world? Like I say, it's difficult because I think the last few years, few years, a lot of people say about me, for example, because I won a lot of trophy and uh, that say something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's important. I think it's important um, for sure. In this moment, uh, I I like. I like how he's growing. Uh, Antoine is playing. Uh, is playing really good in the in the Italian league. Uh, yeah. He was doing really good in Poland and Russia also. He played good in national team. So he is he is one of the best. I can say. Even if I don't like to say this, uh, I really like the technique and everything of uh, of uh, Luciano De Cecco. I like also yeah. uh, the charisma. I say of uh, of Bruno. I like. Yeah. Uh, how his attitude on the court. Uh, so there is a lot of players who have different uh, good points. Uh, but for sure, like the people and the media and the journalists will ov- always talk about the best setter because they they win trophy. And this is yeah, this is important because uh, because as every professional player. Everybody wants to to win, so this is yeah. more important. And and this, what I keep in my uh, my mind, mm-hmm. is that um, I just uh, I'm not tired. I'm not tired to win, and <laughs> it's not because I uh, I win that I I say oh it's okay I win this I win this and it's enough. I I'm just not tired, and I like this feeling of winning. So I just okay. want to continue to to try to do everything to win. I will lose. I will continue to lose games. I will continue to to lose some trophy, 
but I want to continue to do everything to, to try to win. Yeah, it, uh, I wanted to ask you about it because uh, mm, uh, actually you, you have won everything, literally everything in your uh, career. So um, I would like to ask you what, what, what pushes you forward yeah, uh, and what, uh, mm, what makes you to maintain the same level, uh, same high level of uh, of uh, playing, but um, I, I think you already answered on this question that you like this feeling. <laughs> yeah, I like this feeling. I like uh, I like challenge. Like I say, for me, it was a new challenge to. I I, I won already Super Cup in Poland. I won yeah. Cup. I won Champions Champions League uh, Championship also. But now it's my goal is to win with a different team. So the feeling when I won the first trophy with Yashembe. It was super, super nice, super good feeling yeah. because uh, because because I won with another team, so it's nice feeling. So this is my goal for this season: is to continue to to win with with another team. And then for national team, for example, uh, some people say, "Oh, they won Olympic games. What they can do more?" For me personally, uh, I I win. World League, I, w I win uh, VNL, I win European Championship, I win Olympic, but I never win medal in the World Championship. So this is a big yeah. goal for me. It's a big goal for me to to try to, to win a medal, and I hope the best, but it will be difficult, with uh, in the World Championship with the French national yeah. team. So this is a, a, a big goal. It's difficult, but this gives me the motivation to, to, to work hard and to continue to, to try to win. Great, great. Um, so you 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 play uh, your seventh season in uh, Polish league, and uh, I think uh, mm, the Polish league is still growing. Is still um, better than one year or um, earlier. So um, there are many teams in Polish league currently. I think around six they want to uh, reach a medal. And uh, how do you think who who will be the uh, greatest opponent uh, of Jastrzemski Wengel? Um, in the in, in this moment, in this moment, I mean now, I think the four teams who are first four. I don't know if Warsaw Warsaw is four or fifth. I don't know. Mm, I will tell you in. Uh, Two seconds, just give me a moment because I don't remember. But um, mm, 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 please. Uh, yeah, so oh no, the first is Zaxa, the second one is your team, the third one is the fourth is Austin. <laughs> yeah, so fifth I is the, uh, Project Warsaw. Yeah. yeah, so I think in this moment the four team who are first four. Are playing the best. I mean, Zaxa is playing really good. We are playing. Uh, we are playing good, even if I can say we can play better. Um, Olsztyn is playing really, really good. Uh, Zawiercze is playing really good. Yeah. But uh, in the end, I expect that uh, Skra will come back. They will be there in the end of the season. Uh, Jeshov will be there. They will improve. They will. Uh, they will be better. And also, it's really stable team with experienced player. Yeah. And also, they have the capacity to to reach high level. So I put these seven teams in the yeah in the high place of the ranking. And I hope yeah. I hope we will be the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wish you that. So uh, Ben, I got a um, few more quick questions from the fans. So if you don't mind, I would like to ask uh, them. Um, okay, so um, what kind of po Polish food do you like? I like uh, all the typical food, like uh, Żurek. I like the, the Żurek, <laughs> the soup. I like uh, pierogi. So yeah, yeah, this kind of food I, I really like. And uh, I have some uh, place, some restaurant in okay. Krakow, for example, where I, I go oh. sometimes and I eat uh, Good soup. I don't remember the name, but uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I wanted to the, ask you. I wanted to ask you which which one because uh, I I currently live in Wieliczka, so this is near to the yeah. Krakow. So, so 
What did you ask? Oh, me? I like this uh, this rurek in the in the bread. In bread, the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a typical. So uh, I can recommend you a few restaurants uh, of the records okay. if, you, if you if you if you like because uh, yeah, I uh, with my wife we we're, we're going to some restaurants sometimes. Uh, Include yeah, we we ride to Krakow because it's around yeah a few kilometers far away from okay. from my spot. So I can I can recommend you a few few restaurants. Hey, uh, are you recognized on the streets? So do do the people know that you? You're the Bentonuti. You're the Olympic champion. Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. But uh, you know, it's it's good. It's good that uh, <laughs> I can go everywhere. Like, uh, and it's not so much crowd. Like, I mean, okay. uh, in France, uh, after the Olympics, for sure, in my city, it was like uh, bigger and bigger. And Poland, sometimes yeah, some people recognize me, and it's nice. It's nice because. Uh, because the people yeah. are interesting about volleyball and uh, and it's uh, it's also nice for the for the players. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend uh, to the other French players to play in Plus Liga? Sure, sure. Because uh, I uh, I just push uh, Trevor to to come. Uh, also, we were speaking with Stefan when he was speaking with uh, with Yashembe, yeah. and uh, and for sure it's a great uh, great championship. Uh, Super championship, sure. like a really good organization of the club. Uh, so, yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, a lot of good, a lot of French player uh, played good in Poland, and it's because we feel good in Poland because uh, because everything is going uh, in the way that uh, that uh, you have to think only about volleyball and uh, every game the gym are full, especially now after COVID. So it's uh, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm. It will be tricky. What was the weirdest thing that happened to you in Poland? Oh, I have a nice story. Come on. I okay. <laughs> uh, it was my first season, I think, in Poland, and uh, I was walking out with my dog, and uh, and my dog uh, shit in the street, like in the in the grass. Yeah. And, okay. And and I forget this uh, bag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To take it. To take it. Yeah. To take it. So it was not good, but I leave it. I leave it on the grass. And okay. uh, the day, the day after, when I wake up and I go to the practice, I wa I have one paper on the car of the club car, writing in French, in French. Huh? So the guy who see me from his window, I think, he knew. Recognize me. Recognize me. <laughs> and on the car of of the club. It was like please in French. Please, when your dog shit, take it. Something like this. Uh, and it was what? the first season I think in Poland. And I say, okay, so I have to take care about everything because. Wow. Uh, yeah. And it was, but it was like okay, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit crazy because it happens to many people in Poland still, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you have some more? Some weird, weird stuff in no, no, from no, Poland. No, I think it was like it's funny and you know it's funny and it was my mistake because I don't have the bag. It happens. But, uh, yeah, it was funny that the guy just take the time to translate <laughs> yes. the, the sentence in French and put to my car. <laughs> okay, what kind of music rules in uh, Yashemsky's locker room? Who is the DJ? Oh, we are we are trying to put some French music with the French guy, but it's we oh. are. Trying to put like step by step a little more because <laughs> all the guys don't like so don't like so we are trying but uh, you know we are listening a little bit everything in the in the locker room yeah okay well, what, what, what kind of French music would you like some R and B hip hop yeah some hip hop some uh, rap some yeah some different kind of music okay. which we are listening in the national team also. Okay, I understand. Okay, so it will be my last question, and it is uh, um, one from uh, your fan. So, um, uh, how, <laughs> how how it goes with your uh, Polish? So, do, do you still learn the Polish language? My Polish is not uh, pretty good. I mean, for me, it's really tough to 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 yeah to speak Polish because it's totally different from France. Yes, and also I can say that. Uh, from I am in Poland, I have only coach Italian or Serbian who are speaking yeah. Italian or uh, or English. So 
for sure it was more easy for me to to speak uh in italian with them with them also english with the guys and uh but it's, i i can say that for me it's really difficult language mm-hmm. uh for me what is important is that uh uh it's not because i uh i don't like poland or something like this sure it's if i stay in poland for so long time it's because i love poland because i feel good there and i want to give everything for the for the club for uh, for uh, for fans because they trust me and i just want to give everything but sure for me it's difficult to to learn polish and to improve but now it will be strange because my daughters can speak maybe in the end of the year together Polish and I will not understand everything. So about oh. the volleyball, I can understand quite a lot, but it's true that about normal life, it's difficult for me. Okay, I understand. So maybe your daughters can teach you a bit. <laughs> my o- my uh, oldest one, for sure, she can teach me a lot. <laughs> okay, Ben, I, I don't know when this uh, hour flew away. It was my last question, so I would like to say thank you uh, for no your time. Thank you for your time. And uh, yeah, I I really appreciate it because, uh, yeah, it, it's the first time that I got an Olympic champion in my podcast. So it was uh, yeah first time, hopefully not mm-hmm. the last one. Uh, I wish you all the best. Stay healthy because the pandemic time is still, unfortunately, with us. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So many, many gr- greetings from from the fans and uh, yeah, stay healthy. Thank you. Thank for you. All the best you. for you and your family. <laughs> Thank you. See you. See Bye. you.